Uh, you want to talk to Ado briefly? No, uh, I don't as... want to go. I'm just going to make a bed there. Oh. I don't want to talk to her. That's the lady I'm picking. Okay, so I guess that's the uh, that's the conversation that needs to be had now, which is um, uh, do people have thoughts on who they would like to uh, to stay with uh, or whose offer they would like to take up? If anyone's. You can also, of course, choose to take no one's, in which case you do not have uh, access to that family, but, you know, you have uh, the agency to be a little bit more, you know, incognito. So uh, the party sort of regathers. Kitty uh, proposes uh, in the Edo family, um, headed by Edo Jan, as uh, as her preference. What do people think? What do people suggest? Or if you would like to, uh, to you know, in reporting back on what you have, suggest which families you don't want to s- stay with. That could also, you know, process of elimination works too. I don't think the Junkos are, um, um, I don't know if we'd be comfortable. <laughs> That's, <laughs> to put it mildly. Uh, you all see Araza, Araza leaving her conversation with the Han family, uh, with just an enormous smile on her face, no doubt. <laughs> <laughs> or a look of supreme discomfort. What's your opinion of the Han family? Would that be a, a good, safe place for us to stay? Shoku's a complete psychopath, but Koro seems okay, but maybe he's just okay. a more refined psychopath and he's better at hiding it. I don't know. So yeah, j- actually, sorry, just, have, um, just to clarify, when it says with a character description it says at large does that just mean they weren't at the council or does that actually mean they're not that their whereabouts are just plain weren't known because no yeah. that means that they are a member of the council but they are there due to family connections they don't have like a high position in the empire um uh, so for example han koro is an assistant water bearer he's not like the imperial water bearer uh, mm. He's just like the water bearer's assistant, but because he's part of the the Koro the Han family, he's still able to get a position on the council despite the fact that his job is not like super high up there. Junko Mata right. is a merchant. He's a very wealthy and successful merchant, but he's not like an official of the empire. But because he's a wealthy merchant and also a member of the Junko family, he has an at large position on the on the council. So it's a bit like having a collection of general of generals, and then the general's son appear. At, <laughs> who's yeah, a ca- only sort of, yeah, it's like exactly. It, and they might have decent positions, but they're not on the council because of their position. They're on the council because right, you know, okay. they have some degree of power to the family and, and things like that. Um, Is it like? Would it be considered a grave insult to not stay at one of their houses? No, no. I mean, I, it not necessarily um, because, like, you're insulting all of them equally, you know, which is a very small amount because mo- they know you could you'll only take one, so it's a very small insult to not take one of them up. They just view it as a missed opportunity. I do uh, feel if you if you decline all of them, they're not all going to get together and be like, all right, let's have let's all pay for the assassination together. <laughs> <laughs> that, that would not happen. Uh, they might view you suspiciously, like, what are they playing at? But uh, they would also view you suspiciously with whichever family you stayed with, like, oh, they were with the Goros. Why is that? You know. <laughs> what are they Dude. What are they plotting with, Ka- with Goro Kai? What are they plotting with, you know, Kazai Koru or whoever it might be? I do have two for well, unfortunately we haven't had a chance to speak with Goro yet, but we do know his brother, which offer us as us some connection to him. Yeah, there I, mean, is an yeah I could speak to him too. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. It is uh, I'm trying to think, because it's like on the one hand, if we pick the royal family, say, that might be the most politically safe option in terms of uh no one could you know there, yes, we're, we're rejecting everyone else, but it's sort of well, what, there's a clear reason there would be a clear re- understanding of like, well, of course, if you had to pick between, you know, a member of the council 
and the head of the cow and the head family of the council that makes but you know there is a logic to it that they can't would it come off as politically as politically rude if that makes it not not that any of these decisions are the best. and they may be they may be worried that we're instead trying to carry too much favor of the royal family so that's also worth considering all right but so there's some possibility so uh Thorold says uh that you know there is some political expediency to doing mazami um uh the edo family kitty uh likes the hair color <laughs> uh, Stas says no Junko because Stas feels a little uncomfortable about them and Araza perhaps opposed to staying anywhere near Honshoku I don't know at least <laughs> you kind of know exactly what you're getting like he's not filtered or calculated about it he's like hi I'm Honshoku I like killing <laughs> so there's that at least we'd make great friends <laughs> Yeah, it is. That is true. Yep. You you do know what you're gonna get. Uh, <laughs> is there anyone else that people would like to speak to or anything before making the decision, or, uh, or not? Um, I'd just for the sake of completeness, maybe check out the Kazai family <laughs> just to get a read on them. Uh, Stas, you go over to to speak with Kazai Koro. After meeting with the Junkos, um, as you come over, he looks up and says, Hello, Dragon Spawn. It's um, good to meet you. I just thought I'd make some more personal introductions. Well, pleasure to meet you. I'm Kazai Koro, right claw of the dragon. I lead one of our largest wings unfortunately uh, dragon claws not uh, looking too keen it seems the orcs have been routing goroata at every front something i imagined his brother feels some degree of shame about uh, but uh well i assure you should i be directed uh, to the north i could put up a good fight but my my wing tends to focus on the fight to the to the west and the south. And that would be the undead then? We have on occasion had a cause to fight with the undead, though they rarely venture forth from the dead sands. When they have, we have been there to meet them. Um, more commonly, of late, there have been some issues with uh, with the elves that I've had to be ready for. Uh, coming out of yeah. Lefalar, there have been some uh, forays against the outskirts. Nothing too serious, though. It seems the north is by far the greater problem. Well, certainly... I'm sorry. I, uh, allow me to introduce to you my niece. This is, this is Gosh. Um, and Kazai Gosh does a little curtsy and says, Kazai Gosh, I serve at the discretion of the, of the dragon. Koru then says, she's new to the service, but moving up the ranks. Devil with a bow. Ah. Well, we could have... Could certainly use more skills like that. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of getting up close and personal with the uh, the undead. <laughs> uh, yeah, Ka Koru says yes. The bow is an apt weapon, though it uh, not quite as effective as as one would like against the skeletal types. Oh, I imagine you could rustle something up that would uh, probably make it a bit more effective. Ocean says, Is it true that you can breathe fire? <laughs> Sorry, I, we, uh, yes. we, I don't. I haven't ever met uh, Koru says, uh, Oh, Apologies it's... for my niece. She's quite, a... as I said, new to military service. Ah, uh, it's quite alright. We're all 
we are all young at one point or another. <laughs> and, uh, it's a wide world. I'm sure I haven't even seen but a drop of it. But yes, to answer your question, yes, I can breathe fire. So you've you've had a, a moment now to look over our little council. What are your impressions? I saw you speaking with the Junkos. Uh, they're new to the council. But ah, n new. Seem enthusiastic. And if you don't mind my asking, how, how new, precisely? No, well, I understand that uh, Junko Mata paid for his position and uh, well, Issei was, has long been the Shadow Speaker, but Shadow Speaker was not always afforded a position on the Council. I would say maybe a, maybe a year or so, a year, year and a half. Mm -hmm. The rest have long been members. Uh, Shoku, ever since he uh, attained his position, and uh, Koru along with him. The Goros, of course, have... Well, they were quite loyal to the old emperor and have long been members of the Sun ah. family, of course, likewise. And, well, Edo Yan, she's been around since forever. I have wondered why she won't get her, her husband a position on the council, but then, well, she doesn't really care much about the politics of things. He keeps asking her, though. Uh, do we know how long, um, uh the Poe family has been falling out of favor with the uh, Dragon Emperor? Uh, from your interactions with Poe Vita, you know that they had been on the decline. Uh, you don't know necessarily how long or when that originated. It might be worth asking just to see if there was any particular family that had a outsized role in their decline. Anything further to discuss with the Kazais? Hot off the top of my head at the moment. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll thank them for their time and wander back over and just be like, I think they're the most sane. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I would, I'd go with Kitty's recommendation. Actually, it seems that she's disinterested in politics, which would be, could be favorable. But um, at least with the uh, uh, Kaz eyes, we could. Potentially, it seems like they're relatively stable. For uh, that uh, <laughs> that poll, uh, what are the the top choices? I don't want to put like everything. Up. I'll just put... I mean, I don't know if I necessarily would end up staying with the party. Like, my goal is probably to be with Edo Yan and her at her school or whatever. So I don't know if that's gonna like hamper what other people were thinking about doing. I that, dig that her the most just because she seems really like she has a distaste for everyone and everything and that's always kind of the character I'm sort of drawn to. <laughs> <laughs> um, that seems like three three in favor of the Edo family. If uh, if Lithrum's going to be there regardless, that's your favorite Araza and Kitty all's already sort of like that, that direction. Do I just go with that? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah that works for me. I was gonna say, it wouldn't be a bad thing if we, like, split the party in two instead of, like, five. That is an option, too, as well. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, for the sake of, uh, sake of things, let's say, yeah, y'all, y'all head over towards Edo Yan. She looks up, and as she sees you all, all coming in that direction, she says, Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the most unenthusiastic typically wins. Hello, I'm Thrall. Mm. Uh, yes, I I know that she notices your your weapon. She's like, ah, magic weapon. Mm. Yeah. She looks over, sees uh, sees Kitty kind of flexing. <laughs> I am a magical weapon. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> This is going to be great. Delusions of grandeur. Hey, it's not delusions. <laughs> Have you met me? I'm not delusional at all. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm just looking at each of you and she's like, uh, 
My husband will deal with most of you. Welcome. Thank you for choosing the Edo family. I, um... I'm... You will be happier to see us leave. We know. No, no. Stay, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just, uh, well, if you will make sure we keep... Out of any particular dangerous magics in my tower, uh, try not to break anything, and uh, if any conflicts should arise around you, uh, try to keep damages to a minimum. I, I like uh, to imagine she's making more and more eye contact with Kitty as she's saying this. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I'm, I would like to throw it back at her and be like, I hope Nani agrees to these same conditions. Yeah, and Kitty looks further and further away with every single statement. <laughs> uh, she, she looks over at Luther and says, Ah, uh, Nani, yes, she... We've had a few discussions. I, uh, understand that she delivered my uh, invitation to you, Lithrum. The offer does stand. I'm willing to work with you a bit. I understand you've seen some things. I would very much love to take a look at these these wonderful needles you've you've managed to come up with. Uh, finding other applications for such things could be uh, of interest. There are many magical creatures, many magical things. If you can extract uh -oh. one thing from something, perhaps... Perhaps other things. There may be, uh, there may be practical uh, applications for your work. Uh, that I'd like to discuss uh, further with you. Regretting her decision. Uh, <laughs> Those red flags are popping up, folks. Uh, she says, "Of course, uh, this is nothing to do with any of the rest of you." But yes, I would like to discuss your work, Lithrum, if you have the time. And I would if love not. to pick your 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 brain with the knowledge that you have. Stas will pat Araza on the on the back and kind of lean over and just just be like, "What are we gonna hang out with? Uh, we can see about having tea with the Kazais. I think that'll be that might be a bit calm." Uh, so yeah, she she then is, is like, "All right, I guess I'll show you the place." <laughs> and uh, uh, you all, how worried um, do we need to be about the case of horrors that? Lithrum is wandering around with. Huh. Not concerned at all. It's double wrapped. Didn't you Not know? It was only like, what, the second roll and it was a natural one of the campaign? Didn't get recorded, though, so... Uh, it never happened. Uh, never happened, right? Uh, I'm, 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 I'm a little worried about that. Some it's, discussions it's of never, storage may happen at some point. It's never oh. out of anyone's sight. <laughs> Anything that's double wrapped is super safe. Listen, my my dumb was, my dumb decision was to bring it. My dumb decision was not to pack it poorly. <laughs> it's true. It's true. We didn't have any rolls for that. So, oh, and here's your home, by the way. Uh, here's the guest house that you have been provided. Um, and you know, feel free to open the doors and stuff like that. It's your home. Aww. Yes, room provided this. to you. Yeah. I picked this bed. <laughs> this is my bed. Ooh, this place is big. Wait, where's the kitchen? Who's gonna feed me? All the therms <laughs> in the kitchen. It's like a fire pit situation. <laughs> Simple. And uh, Edu Yan uh, leads you up to a, a <clears throat> good five or six story uh, structure, um, a tower near the uh, near the dragon's nest. And she says, "Oh, this is my tower, Lithrum. I'll I'll show you uh, show you some some of what I've been working on. Uh, you'll all be able to stay in the the, the guest house uh, adjoining, and uh, she kind of show you show you that. But as you are uh, as you are approaching um, here. Someone steps out to talk to you. As stepping out, uh, 
uh, and looking at each of you uh, is Inikitsu. Fuck me. As she steps out, uh, she's looking at each of you and... Everyone look uh, composed and like we planned this. Hey, long notices. time no see. Well, How are ya? Well. Uh, she's kind of looking between each of you and says, I was waiting for when you would arrive. I would very much like to hire you. Bitch. What? She's just kind of looking and says, Oh, family. I assume you've heard. Yeah. They were delivered an unclean blade. Not not just Vita, but the rest of them too. All, all dead. The family I served for so long. I was wondering if you could help me find their killers. Like, that is the plan, but like... We could get paid for it now. <laughs> I, I have to imagine, like, that whole time Thorne was, like, you know, like, having, like, you know, underneath his cloak, had, like, you know, a hand on, like, one of his knives, ready, just, like, if this went down, and then we was, like, I need you to find their killer. This gives that look of, oh, god damn it, that's actually a line of our goal. <laughs> what do you do? As she sits there before you, or stands there before you. Looking anxiously for each of your answers, uh, Thorald with his hand resting atop his blade. Ah, damn it! Well, I'm not very happy about it either, am I, Thorald? But maybe our interests align? I mean, maybe we could use her to try and find out more information on who delivered the unclean blade. You, you saying this in front of her? I mean, she she's aware. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And like, and she's very devastated that the the they killed the, the most the high, entire family. Not to say that it wasn't the wrong thing to do, but not <laughs> necessarily the right thing to do at the, at the time. This clearly you're not saying a lot, but the first part. Yes. <laughs> um, and uh, as as you say that, she said. Yes, I think combining forces might be of some use. The Po household has been barred for me, has has access to Po Lunala or any of the other children, but I expect access will be allowed for you, the champions of Garakan. And what are we getting for helping you? Uh, I... Besides a warm, fuzzy feeling. I don't have much. You you took my blade, after all. Uh, but uh, a favor for a favor, perhaps. I imagine you could use someone with certain infiltration skills. Uh, your group is not exactly the most subtle. I mean, I think this is the least she can do with the trouble that she caused in Grokken. Right. Do you have a counter offer then? Two favors. Two favors. All right. Well, I suppose it's a big favor I'm asking. Two favors seems not unreasonable. <laughs> Two favors. I don't know what the two favors are going to be. I just want two for one. And maybe a promise that you won't stab us in the back. Oh. Yeah, but how can we guarantee that from her? Well, it does appear that you're without a blade. Not with a good one. Could we perhaps leverage our status to becoming... You you know, we would be... You would be our blade. Yeah, you can be our blade for hire, except we're not paying you. It's a favor. Uh, <laughs> Jesus, Kitty. <laughs> she just frowns. Says, "I don't know exactly how such arrangements would be made, but I suppose 
speaking with, uh, well, with Goro Kai would be the way to do so, as, well, Goro Ata is the one who took me in. Uh, I was held by the Goro family before being released, but uh, he's my parole officer, so to speak. Goro Kai's estate is in the north of the city, near the gates. There's an open area and a barracks tower, a watchtower of sorts. You can usually find him on on his estate there. Who has uh, Inikitsu's blade? Uh, Thorold? Thorold has, uh, <laughs> has the blade, yeah. It's looking conspicuous when you say that. <laughs> so, if you wish to make it a more permanent thing, speak with Goro. For now, though, I consider myself in your service. As far as leads go, the best I can suggest would be either a scene of the crime, you should be let in where I was not, or or speaking with the the children, uh, Lunala being the eldest, under the supervision of the dragon. Beyond that, well, we all know it is most likely one of the families who did this, so finding out about them seems not unreasonable. Yeah, what do you know about I was mostly used for uh, not the secret gathering purposes, as for what I know, what I what I would say is that if I had to suspect a family, if I had to guess who would be most to benefit, uh, the nearest families to the Poe's old area of control, the ones who've moved into the power vacuum, that would be the Han, the Kazai, and the Goro families. Doesn't mean it couldn't be any of the others, though. But those are the three in the eastern part of the city near where the Poe family estate was. Um, there is a knock on your door. Oh, oh. I'll wander over and, and excuse me and go see who who's who is knocking. Who is it? There's a look at her goes, hide, and then she's probably already hidden by the time he looks in her direction. <laughs> yeah, sure. So if you ask her to uh, to hide, she'll I uh, give a, a subtle nod and uh, carefully uh, position herself out of sight. Um, as the uh, as you open the door, you see a bearded gentleman, salt and pepper, uh, dressed in, in the garb of a noble. Um, and as as you open the door, he says, "Hello, oh, oh, oh. Bastri, I believe, Stas." He holds out his hand to shake. Uh, yes. Hello, hello, Kimpa. You have uh, you met my wife uh, he, uh, yesterday. She welcomed you here. I'm oh. I'm the man of the Edo family, so to speak. <laughs> okay. Just uh, as he walks past, but his uh, jaw just kind of falls open just a little bit. It's just like trying to like do the mental math of like this guy and. The, like how how they wound up together like uh, yeah there's there's definitely a a strange match uh, uh, in terms of uh, temperament and um, and uh, age also seems a bit uh, there seems to be a, a slight gap there slight uh, she might have been a platinum blonde and then you know went, went white early sort of thing you know that does happen as the mental calculations go through all of your heads, uh, he comes and he says, And Lithrim would recognize you anyway. That red hair stands out. Tell me, tell me. Uh, I myself am a, Garak a, a Garakanian. Uh, originally, I uh, have been here for uh, 20 years now, but I was I was born up that way. Tell me, how's the town doing? Uh, the town is flourishing now that, that we've passed the, uh, this little incident. Well, that's good to hear. You always, uh, when you hear things like this, you expect a, a bit of lasting repercussions, you know. But I, I'm sure that uh, I'm sure that they have things well under control. I'm glad it it didn't get worse. <laughs> From what I heard, it 
bit of a bit of a nightmare, ha! But well, fortunately, the town had heroes such as yourselves there. Tell me, uh, well, uh, we're happy to have you here, but uh, uh, what uh, what might you be planning to get up to in our fine city? And uh, how can I help you? Oh, all kinds of shenanigans. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, so, uh, you are a jokester, no? Yes, famously. I knew it. I can always tell one after my own heart. <laughs> she did birthday parties. <laughs> Speaking of which, could I maybe get down each of your birthdays? And in case one of them happens while you're here, I would hate to be a terrible host. Yeah, today's Kitty's birthday. It's your birthday today! Yeah, it is. Yes. It, this is not one of Araza's jokes, right? No, it's been officially um, five years since I left the litter, so it's my birthday to the real world. Wait, it's birthday. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> well, uh. Congratulations! Uh, I'll, uh, I'll see what I can do. I did. Make sure you make your, your way back here by the evening, and uh, we'll have a bit of a celebration. Uh, oh, you're going to feed? Well, of, I mean, it's your birthday, of course. <laughs> uh, you're a guest of the Edo family. No, we'll, we'll make sure we have something nice. Uh, do you have any dietary restrictions, allergies, or just things you don't like? Uh, uh, no, as long as it's not uh, poisoned. You know, I'd rather my food not be poisoned. That's, that's kind of it. That's a pretty low bar. Well, I mean, honestly. I suppose. You said you're from the Rock. You know, you know what it's like. Uh, I, I don't. Uh, as I said, I, I haven't been there in about 20 years, but... Oh, well, uh, if that tells me how your home is doing, I would like my food crisis. to not be poisoned. Thanks. I will ensure that it is, it is not. Uh, I'll, I'll provide a good spread. You'll eat uh, it first. And then I'll eat it. Well, I, I'll be here. I, I, uh, I, you probably don't have uh, have many friends in the city just yet. Uh, would is there anyone in particular I should invite? I look behind me and uh, I ask, "Hey guys, want to invite everybody and have a full-on council family dinner?" I have a question, actually. Uh huh. Um. You had said that there was, like, some weird seismic activity going on here. Yeah. Um, who would be monitoring something like that? Like, whose job in... Hey! <laughs> Bless! I'm sorry! Bless you! <laughs> Bless. My eye is watering. <laughs> that was a rough one. Um, who, like... Seems like there's a role for everything here, so is there, like, a person that is responsible for... Uh, what you had sensed was strange. You're not sure exactly what what the deal with it was. Uh, it may not have been picked up by people here, but if it has, the most likely people to uh, to ask about that would be um, San Filo, since he is the uh, the water bearer for the city. So he's the head of the sort of civil side of things, manages the day to day type stuff. So things like disaster preparedness would fall uh fall to him uh goro as the scale of uh the first scale is in charge of like military defense you don't know if he would necessarily be in charge of that unless it were like an attack from underground or something like that um he would be unlikely to know also possible that edo yan would would know being the the arch wizard but she may not be aware uh so you could ask her to to check it out those would be the most likely people, I would say, would be either either San Filo, uh, Goro Kai, or, or Edo, Edo Yan. Okay. Uh, as, uh, as Kitty says that, uh, Kempai says, you, uh, <laughs> you wished me to invite the uh, members of the council. Well, not, there's no guarantee they would send, uh, you know, top representatives, but I'm sure uh, the families would not want to insult you, so if you, if you wish, uh, Sure, I could put out a request to the council members to, to stop by. I don't know. I'm not sure if it's something I want to draw attention to or not. I just... This is Valerie talking. Okay, <laughs> all right. Um, I don't know if it's something I want to draw attention to or not. I'm still... And I hate that I'm thinking like this. 
maybe if I spend more time here, then I'll humanize them a little bit more. But at the moment, I'm like, would it be the worst thing if all of this crashed into a fiery chasm? I don't know. I'm not sure that it would be the worst thing. You know what I mean? But they haven't endeared more... you quite as much uh, as the uh, simpler people, uh, less backstabby people of yeah. have. Yeah, yeah, probably not so far. So maybe if I spend more time here and I meet like normal everyday folk, then I'll be like, wait, 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 wait. But also, I'd rather, um, I'd rather wait and talk. Where did we leave the situation? Be, be careful. If you start meeting normal people and you give them names, they're going, you're going to get attached to them, and then you'll feel really bad when you know bad stuff happens. Yeah. Fail. You're right. Um, where did I? leave the things with the um, desert weirdness that happened where they were like, we'll talk it over and we'll consider it. Was there somewhere that I was supposed to go to wait specifically? or Yeah, he, he gave you the location of a blacksmith um, called the Fiery Yoke. Okay. Uh, that um, would be where you would be, be met. That's where okay. I want to have my birthday party. Did they, like, did he say when? Uh, no, he didn't say when. He said that someone would contact you. Uh, okay. If you kind of checked in there. That seems mm -hmm. to be like a contact within the city. Um, right. Those people. So that can also be a, a place to uh, talk about. Um, so yeah, Edo Kenpai then says, Well, I'll I'll put out some feelers, see who might come, and enjoy the day, enjoy the city of Hakai. There are many wonderful things to do here. And, uh, well, if... If there's anything else I can help you with, uh, whether it's advice or, or places to see or, or people to go to or whatever, I, I place myself at your service. Uh, good luck. Enjoy this place. Thank you. Uh, and so he will, uh, he will take his leave, if not uh, questioned further. And after doing so, uh, Inikitsu slips out of the hiding spot and says... Well, I suppose the city then is ours to explore. Unless you would like me to go my own separate way. If there's anywhere in particular you would like me to look into. Or should I follow along like a little, little puppy dog? I hate having casual conversations with her. I want to punch her in her smug little face. A non-lethal punch. No. <laughs> A regular degular punch, <laughs> like, well, intending to wound. Oh no. Look at that grin on her face. Do you want to send her off, uh, ask her to snoop on somebody or something, and the party just goes separately from her, or do you want her to tag along as you start your, your ventures out into the city of Hakai? I think she can go out on her own. We don't need to She'll... be around her 24 7. She'll nod and just say, I'll return if I find anything, or just to touch in. So she'll uh, she'll duck out and go out into the city. And so this is uh, this is our map of Hakai. You are newcomers to the city, but there are many wonders within. You'll see that I've gridded it out like a hex map. Uh, and here's our party token. Made that for us. That's you guys. Hey, uh, now one of us dies, so it's a change it. <laughs> hey. Oh god. <laughs> oh, that looks real bad. Oh, uh, uh, I mean, it would not be hard for me to change it if I needed to. Um, but uh, let's not do that. Um, so, the question then is uh, where would you like to go? And wherever you decide to go, as you go along there and travel through the city, you may uncover things. They could be encounters or places of business, and each different place and thing that you uncover and find could lead to further things that you wish to investigate or rumors that you can hear opportunities to pick up on on gossip and things of that nature the city is your oyster where would you like to go as you head out for the first time with an open license to explore hakai and no supervisor I mean, no you supervisor. should be being watched probably by somebody the whole time that we're here. It just seems like that kind of place. 
Maybe multiple somebodies. Yeah, exactly. Uh, each family may uh, may occasionally want to take a peek. Maybe the first thing that we should do is we should go somewhere very touristy and unsuspecting and try to see if we can spot our tails so we can identify them and know what yeah. they look like. Bamboozle them. Some spy hunting so we can lose them. Let's find out who they are. You can certainly look, do that. This, we'll go tour the botanical gardens because I'm sure they have one. Yeah, look, there's got to be some right here. Look at all this greenery. Okay, I mean, the, yeah, the, the area right in front of the dragon's nest would certainly be touristy. Uh, okay, uh, if everybody is down, then uh, hey, it's your first day in the city. Why not see the sights? Yeah. There's no uh, no zombie plague that's going on right now, so you can actually be tourists for a change. At least Are we gonna get I heart Hakai shirts? You oh. need a, a good work life balance. Find them. We do. Yeah. It's true. It's you. You absolutely do need that. Yeah, it's Kitty's birthday, guys. <laughs> so my birthday's birthday not one more month, but it's, <laughs> it's my birthday today. Uh, so yeah, uh, the party heads in the direction of the towering dragon's nest. As you head into this area. Uh, yeah, it, it is kind of touristy. There are sort of little tourist shops and things like that for people who come in, want to get their, their tchotchkes. There's also a number of tea uh, tea houses along the, these these places. And uh, so, uh, yeah, as, as you move through, uh, do you, you said you wanted to like spot um, any p possible tails and things like that so do you want to like just take up a position in a tea house and watch or just kind of go onto the green and see what you see i don't know i was thinking just like you know strolling around peering as though i'm taking in the sights which i am i suppose I'm looking for like turn place. left turn right see yeah. who's still following us sort of thing yes yes that sort of thing all right well if the whole party is doing that let me have each of you roll me a uh, we'll make it a, you know, we'll make this an intelligence check. I think uh, this is more trying to, you know, see who is trying to hide in plain sight rather than spot uh, somebody skulking behind corners. It's they're no. they're usually not uh, doing that. I got a negative one modifier, and look at that. Yeah, people rolling, uh, people rolling decently well here. Uh, all right, so I'll say that as you are doing this, uh, Lithram, uh, Thorold, you two definitely spot a couple of people who. It's like that. I've seen that guy before, you know. Now he's he's sitting down at a tea house and sipping on a sipping on an herbal herbal brew. But like a, a block back, I'm pretty sure he was a sweet a street sweeper or something. Like, you each spot a, a couple of possible possible tales or possible spies, um, and uh, so you you do have have eyes on some of those. I'll say also that uh, as you are hanging out near these tea houses, uh, you do see at, at one of them, um, you know, there's discussion and exchanging of coins but the amount of coins exchanged seems to be a, a bit high for uh for a simple tea um, at one of those tea houses on this street uh, somebody is paying for something that is maybe uh maybe a service that's not just tea interesting um, other things you notice i mean of course you do notice the uh the towering uh, castle, uh, the dragon's nest. Um, that is uh, certainly if you wanted to talk to Polunala, uh, she would be be there under the supervision of the emperor. Um, and uh, uh, green is open here. Um, you can see arrayed around. There's some uh, taverns. Um, it's like a shop selling parchment paper and things like that. Not too far number of places of business around this area, as well as a lot of out-of-towners wanting to see the sights of Akai. Thorold, would you give me a, uh, I'll say, an intelligence check? 
Nothing. Uh, you can use uh, you can use scout if you'd like on that. Ooh, okay. Yeah, you you find something that looks nice as you you go over. Um, there's a, a merchant selling an item that matches the description you gave there, and um, imperial gentleman with a bit of a crooked smile. Uh, you know, selling a selling a variety of of things to to people of different uh, different backgrounds. He looks over and says. Uh, hello there. Hey, uh, I, you've got your eye on a fine piece. Um, uh, you're going to make the purchase. He'll uh, offer it to you for uh, three coppers. Okay. But yeah, you hand over three coppers, make a quick a quick purchase. Um, As I leave, I go, oh, by the way, that's not orcish for death. That's orcish for toilet. Uh, 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 most people don't notice. I didn't think so. Uh, that said, uh, could you... Uh, he holds out a, just a piece of parchment. Could you... Yeah, okay. just in case I want to uh, impress a orcish customer. Okay. If I was, okay, look. The, that pendant there that that you're se- selling at, as a romantic one, that's actually orcish for... Well, the direct translation is fuck you up. So I guess it can. So culturally, it can. I have seen it used interchangeably. You know, language. It doesn't all translate one for one. Um, uh, that one I can't say out loud. Um, so you're probably selling in the right spot. Um, uh, yeah, that one means that. That one means that. Yep. Okay. Yep. That works. So, works. Yeah. And I don't know what that. That's actually not a symbol we use. I think someone just tried to make one up. That's not what happened at all. Yeah, you okay. go go through correcting his his uh, orcish and his trinkets and baubles. Uh, yeah. Go so, over to Kitty. Hold out like a little pendant and go, "Happy birthday." Uh, yeah, Thorold hands uh, holds out to you a uh, small uh, orcish pendant uh, with uh, symbols on it and. Uh, it has the appearance of a of a of an orcish weapon, similar to the type of weapon that you use. Oh, so I'm a real green blood now. Thanks, buddy, and I hug him. But clearly, um, my face is almost in his ass. <laughs> it's like that moment when you go, "I'm a real og now," and like Thor's sort of giving that like to everyone else, not really looking at anyone. Is like, but it has that look of like. That's not really how it works, but besides not the same thing, and just sort of like, you know, does the like hug pat on the, there's like pats on the back sort of thing, like, yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> like, does, like, you know what, it's your birthday, I'm not going to take away from this. <laughs> um, I have a question. Yes. Um, what are the horror parts of Hakai, or is it like those parts of the the ones that are outside of the, um, I assume these are walls that are around the outside, like protective walls or something? Uh, yeah, so uh, outside the city those are poorer areas. Uh, the foreign quarter uh, tends to have poor areas. That's uh, this number nine up here um, in the, uh, the northeast side. Generally speaking, uh, the further out you go from the old city, the further out from the um, uh, from the like center of commerce and things like that, things get a little bit poor. But that's not a hard and fast. The easiest way to say is just if it's outside the city, it's poor. Uh, and uh, likewise, if it's um, if it's uh, in the foreign quarter. How easy is it to go in and outside of these uh, like boundaries? Is it like you go through like a security check when you come in and out, or how does that work? Like to go through the gates? Yeah. Like onto the outside, yeah. Uh, it's as of right now, it's not that difficult. Um, you know, they're okay. Well, security. There's guards on the walls and things like that. But uh, as the orcs get closer, security might get tighter. It's it's not that hard. I'm curious to see like just how poor poor gets here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm I'm curious. I feel like that tells you a lot about a city. Is like just how bad impoverished can get. So. Maybe we could yeah. go there. Okay. I mean, you could certainly uh, head into the, the foreign quarter and then kind of circle back, you know, taking like a, a route of like, go up here and then circle back to the Poe household, just sort of see what that outskirts are like, and then uh, and then, then come back to the Poe household if you'd like. Um, it's, they're in the same d- general direction. 
the city probably doesn't do it, but I, can, I have been in settings where it's like, it's like, oh no, there isn't poor, we're an enlightened place. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, we just kill our poor. <laughs> it's like, oh god. <laughs> I I am um I'm curious to see like mm, what it's like in maybe the less nice areas of Hakai. Also, where is the where would the uh, blacksmith be located on this map? The I mean uh, the. Fiery Yoke, I would say, uh, is this one right here. Oh, so that's super close too. It's like almost in the, or is it that in the foreign? Yeah, it is in the foreign quarter. Um, and who's who? Right near the gate. Who's this right here? Uh, right up here. That is uh, that is Goro Atashan, um, the uh, Just first in scale. A huge property totally he's, he's got a property and uh it's also sort of like a, a big guard post since he's the head of defense essentially okay so is that where like training happens for defense here and stuff yeah there's there's barracks training oh. ha takes place there uh supply for the the military that uh is overseeing defense um as well as i mean his uh, his estate would be there as well. Um, those would all be things that you you would uh, you would uh, know, and particularly because any Kitsu just uh, just said that uh, you know he's the one who gave her her uh, her release, a lot of her release. So he's uh, the one to talk to about formalizing, making her your employee, uh, if you decide to take that route. Um, so so, uh, I don't like her enough yet. I hate her. Uh, <laughs> yeah. She's got to earn it. To Two favors it. must be cashed in first. Then I might change her. I don't mind. even like want favors from her. I just never want to see her ever again. But at the same time, she probably has information on the Poe family we might need, and it wasn't like we weren't already going to do it. So that's the only my only counters. Why work? harder when we can work smarter and kill her at the end if we need to like mm -hmm. we we can keep very close tabs on her because we know she's a backstabbing bitch and we know that she's going to lie and this is just way easier and like it's cheaper we don't have to hire somebody I don't like free it. labor you won't just give it one chance I mean, if she's, she's if she, had one chance, if is she messes up right now, when she owes us two favors, she gave us her word. If she messes up now, we kill her. You when you to try to it. like literally blow an entire town off of the map as like a sick experiment, it's you're past the point where I'm like, hmm, cash in favors. I'm like, no, die. Like, I hate you forever now. <laughs> I can't like. But she failed. That's not the point. She didn't do not it. Best <laughs> Um, <laughs> he didn't succeed in his coup attempt. Why should he be treated as a criminal? <laughs> yeah, as in Kitty. So yeah, there's uh, there's some tension over what exactly to do about Inikitsu, but at the very least, uh, uh, all right. So where are we headed to? Uh, are we headed in the direction of the foreign quarter? Um, yeah, let's head that way. Okay. Uh, as you head through these streets, I guess I guess we'll go. Up uh, this way, um, uh, this is where that uh, uh, you saw uh, book vendors um, Did we selling spot parts. Our and like that. You, yeah, you've spotted them. Um, you've spotted some. You have not said that you're like trying to ditch them or anything yet. Uh, as of right now, yeah, like, they could follow us for a little bit, but we're definitely gonna ditch them before the blacksmith. You know, okay. but if we ditch them all the way down at the end of Poe's house, then they're kind of farther away from us, but not too far, so we can get back in their sights before they notice. We'll find sure. out. Uh, we will at that. If you're looking for an opportunity okay. to uh, to slip some tails, uh, it's it's about to happen as we have run into an encounter here, uh, <laughs> choosing this route. There are, there are encounters seated throughout this hack, so uh, so far, we've we've had some tea. We've passed by the uh, the dragon's nest. Passed by some bookstores. It seems like if you wanted to find some history about different places and things like that, you could potentially procure some information there. Um, 
And uh, as you're coming along through this area, we get punched. You wow. see uh, see something happen. 